Hello everyone, I am Dr. Saurav Sharma, Glaucoma Consultant in Bharti Eye Center and Foundation. So today I will give you a short video regarding uh, glaucoma, the specific that is known as the silent killer of sight. So glaucoma is a disease, a multifactorial disease which uh, affects the back part of the eye, uh, particularly the optic nerve, which takes the impulse, the light from the eye to the brain, from which we see. As it is known as a silent killer. The major problem in this is we don't have any symptoms for glaucoma. Most of the patients will not realize uh, that they have glaucoma unless and until the 50% of the nerve is already damaged. And that 50% will not be able to do anything because it is irreversible loss of blindness. So very important thing in glaucoma is to early diagnosis of glaucoma and that can be done by uh, knowing about some risk factors of getting glaucoma. The major risk factor is of course age. After 40 years of age, many people tend to get glaucoma, particularly those who have a family history of glaucoma. So if anyone in your family have glaucoma or generally known as Kalamothia, you are at three times more risk of getting this dreaded disease. Other than that, if you have a minus glasses known as myopia, those people also have a risk of getting glaucoma. Then if you have thin cornea, the front order of the eye is thin, or if you have some associated conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, thyroid eye disease, migraine or if you snore at night these are also some general risk factors of getting glaucoma. So as there are no general symptoms of glaucoma the early diagnosis of glaucoma is very very important and that can be done only by a general eye checkup. So after 40 years of age particularly those who have risk factors should get their eye examined at least annually and those people who are, have the risk factors like family history, migraine, they should definitely get their eye checked after 40 years of age and in checkup we generally the doctor will generally see the pressure of your eyes, he will see the nerve whether you are getting some changes and he will do some tests for the scanning of the nerve or the visual field examination because in glaucoma what happens is uh, the visual field start to compress slightly from the peripheral and in the end only the center part of the visual field is left. So some people who are very aware of their surroundings they will uh, tend to know that their visual field is slightly compressing or they are seeing some black spots in front of your eyes. That is an early symptom of uh, getting glaucoma. Plus those patients who are uh, uh, reading more often reading they also sometimes they realize that there is frequent change of their reading glasses. That can also be a one symptom of glaucoma. In a few subset of patients, which is known as angle closure glaucoma, those patients can come to us with actual symptoms of pain, redness. And these are some a specific set of patients who have very small eyes, having plus number of glasses. Uh, the eyeball size is very small. So they can have some symptoms of glaucoma which can be early detected. Like they will come to you with uh, heaviness of your eyes, uh, being uh, a pain, redness uh, or something loss of vision that can be detected early but that is a very few subset of uh, patients uh, the major symptoms uh, the major patients will not have any symptoms so after the uh, investigations uh, the if, if you have uh, glaucoma then generally we start with the uh, uh, glaucoma eye drops initially and it can be uh, one time a day uh, twice a day depending on uh, your uh, profile and depending on uh, which eye drop will suit you and that has to be uh, taken like your daily uh, diabetic or uh, hypertension uh, medications uh, it has to be daily without any fail and if that eye drops then the doctor will call you after uh, six weeks or about two months to check whether the eye drops uh, are working for you if the pressures are controlled with the eye drops or not uh, suitability to your optic nerve and then if it is uh, uh, everything is okay, he continues with the eye drop or he might be thinking of changing the eye drop in future or uh, adding some uh, other glaucoma eye drops. In, uh, if the eye drops are not able to control the pressures uh, then also we have options like we have some laser procedures uh, to decrease the pressure of your eye and ultimately we have surgery as well, trabeculectomy surgery or some uh, valve uh, which are designed to control the pressures of the eye and that is done only when the glaucoma eye drops. Uh, is not working. So the major point in glaucoma is the early diagnosis of glaucoma is very very important. The early we diagnose this dreaded disease this will be easier for the doctor as well as the patient to control uh, this problem.